Sonia Clark will now present her senior speech entitled, I Survived. C is the daughter of Mark Clark. Next year, C plans to study in the nursing program at Avila University in Kansas City. Please welcome her to the podium. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, graduates, staff, students, administration, friends, and family in class of 2022. My name is Sonia Clark, but majority of people know me as C. With over 100 people in this gym, not one of us are the same. The purpose of each situation we face is to allow us to grow into mature adults, to be able to figure out the unknown or dig deeper into reality. We and many people know struggle with facing challenges, but it's in us to overcome them. There's a quote by a woman named Sarah Jake Roberts. She says, slow down. If you rush the process, you lose the reason you were chosen to face it. In a city I used to live in, one in every 64 people die, making a number of 28,706 crimes in the year 2021. That place I came from was called Kansas City, Missouri. I was raised in the hood where sirens and gunshots is like a lullaby. I never watched the news because it was just mothers mourning over the loss of their children due to gun violence. Many empty houses and half burnt down buildings, the smell of burnt barbecue and fresh cut grass. All of us have a childhood smell that sticks with us in other parts that makes us wish we were kids again. I lived in a little blue and white house that my great uncle used to live in. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple years ago. I wish my great grandparents could see me walk the stage. We may have certain people we lost that we wish could see us now. Even if it was a call of congrats, we can never hear it from them now. My parents separated when I was young and all I knew was the inner city. In my early years, I used to go to a charter school named Leah Tober in Purcell High School. I met my teachers, Ms. Nash and Ms. Bell. Both of them made me realize that anything is possible. It's not even our high school teachers we love, but our middle school and elementary teachers people who have seen us grow into mature adults over the time. Fast forward to 2020. I moved with my father and lost the relationship with someone I thought I'd never lose. A heavy cloud hung over me. I lost everything when I moved or so I felt. Losing my writing was the worst. The creativity, it held me kept flying breathlessly. I moved out the city and I realized that we're not gonna always be in the same place for the rest of our lives. The majority of us are going to move in out of the state or the city, but my advice is not to be afraid. It was time for a fresh start as a sophomore at Blue Springs South. My thoughts were I could never meet new friends. I was nothing like any of the other kids, and I was possibly finna fall behind. My best friend at the time made me feel comfortable and helped me. I think that's something we can all relate to. Meeting that one person who was there from the start, and we evolved because of them. Everybody I knew around me started calling me C because it was just a name that came naturally, and even the adults. Speaking of adults, I want to talk about my great-grandmother, Ursha. My great-grandmother is a living definition of being down to earth. My grandmother is a gifted one to so many people. Her ver voice carries courage and wisdom. She and my aunt are virgins I see myself as, a realist. Them understanding me and my cousins, we all can be thankful for our parents and grandparents or great-grandparents or even our aunties and TTs, people who have guided us and provided us for what was best for us. Many of us, it wasn't even an adult, but for me, I got both. The other person is my cousin, Deja. I never looked at Deja like my cousin, but more like my big sister. I consistently overthink situations and somewhere in the wind, she would come up with great advice help me understand things differently. She's a person of kindness. She told me that doing nice things with someone out being an ass goes a long way. She said, don't do something and then be afraid about it. Two years go by and now I'm a senior. I came to Blue Valley North at the beginning of this year and I was so mad. Like, how could I transfer my last year? Like, that don't make sense. I love Blue Valley North because of all the diversity and how wonderful the teacher and the heads are to their students. Now it's time for me to finally graduate. 
My mother graduated five months pregnant with me. Can you imagine that? My mother was 18 like most of us. It's mind blowing to think about. I think everything happens for a reason. Me transferring school to school, meeting all types of different people each time. I've evolved so much with just being in high school for four years. There are so many girls younger than me than here who I became good friends with. I became the big sister. I think we all have became somewhat mentors as seniors. I have heard and see things through these walls that only students would know and understand. Even if this is the end of my high school experience, it won't be the end of my story, their story, or yours. We all figure out parts of our life and learn something different, even if it wasn't so easy. This is just in 10% of our entire lives that we will ever live. So slow down. If you rush the process, you'll miss the reason you were chosen to face it. Now, what does that quote mean to you? Thank you.